Namaste from Deepesh. Today, I'm going to share an expert talk on the current trends in Dynamics 365 and Power Platform. Hello, everybody. I'm Deepesh Sumani, Business Applications MVP alumni and MCT co founder, author. Pause 365 as usual, guys, and let's get going into a good conversation. Where are these questions collected from? These are some questions that have come my way in the last few months or so. Let's quickly get going. Now the first question is, how do you leverage the integration of Dynamics 365 and Power Platform to create seamless custom experiences? Well, this is a very good question. Thanks for the person who has posted this to me. Let me answer this in my way. So there are three key things I would like to talk about, about the integration of Dynamics 365 and Power Platform and how do they help us create the seamless customer experiences. The first thing is, by using Dynamics 365, we get a unified view of our customers and traditionally speaking that we talk about areas such as sales, marketing, service and field service. Here comes Power Platform and Power Platform, what do we use it for? We can build low code apps, we can do use Power Automate for our automation engine, for our workflows, we can analyze data using Power BI, we can create Power Virtual Agents as well which enhance our customer interactions. We can get chatbots which are very intelligent and which we can also use the power of AI. Add to that, today we have things such as Copilot, which can help us as one of the assistance engines, right? So these are two areas, Dynamics 365, which has been traditionally there for the areas I talked about and all the custom applications we can build around to solve our business problem. Then we have the low-code engine of Power Platform, no-code, low-code engine. Now, how does the integration help and how does it help us create the seamless experiences? You can connect a variety of data sources. You can connect them with common data services which are available and data connectors. You can build your own custom connectors if required. You can customize and extend your Dynamics 365 with Power App, your app, Dynamics 365 app with Power Apps. You can automate using Power Automate. You can analyze using Power BI. You can gain insights and you can optimize your processes using Power BI and things such as AI Builder as I just talked about. You can engage with your customers, you can have conversational AI going in with Power Virtual Agents, you can use Copilot to have more AI assistance in. This really brings a lot of uh, scenarios at play. Now I'll take one example. Traditionally, visitor management is not something which we create a business application for, but since we have Canva app, we have Power Automate, we have model driven apps, and we have Power BI. I have seen so many organizations utilize that for their visitor management part. Or um, Another traditional example being the meeting room booking app, right? So traditionally we don't create apps for that or we use something custom. This, are, this is another example of a low code task based app that can be created using Power Platform. Now let's talk about the seamless integration, right? So I can just have one part of the Dynamics 365 problem which I can integrate using Power, uh, Power Platform, Power Automate, apps such as Canva app. Traditionally on the field, I cannot open up a model driven app or a desktop app. I can just expose a Canva app out there and I can populate the data. I can update the data. I can get information in an app format and which I can back update. And that can be a real time thing. That can be offline capability as well. So these kinds of scenarios are the ones which really help the businesses to enjoy seamless customer experiences. Traditionally, what will happen if I go offline, for example, I until the synchronization happens or until the person is back, this is a challenge, right? You might use paper, you might use Excel, things like that. But with app such as Canva app being offline now or offline capabilities, I can do that right there. I don't need to, again, scribble in that data anywhere. I can just utilize this experience and then connect it into the dataverse and then get going, right? So I hope this examples and this answer uh, justified. I just tried to uh, reason out and give my opinions about it. We'll move on to the next question that was asked. How can cloud sourcing benefit Dynamics 365 and Power Platform users? Now, this is a very interesting question. This came my way probably from a partner channel. Uh, I'll, I'll just talk about this as well. I always talk about cloud sourcing or implementing or the citizen developer being anywhere you might call it the technical consultant any, uh, being anywhere the architect of the implementation being anywhere you may also call it the project manager being anywhere anywhere in the cloud i call it cloud sourcing and this is a term which many people in the industry have adopted especially during the pandemic years and when we were all remote 
Now, what I would want to talk about how it can benefit into the Dynamics 365 and Power Platform users or organization, right? I will categorize it into three ways the flexibility, agility, and the cost savings. We all know that travel was quite restricted, but we all needed to operate businesses. We all needed to support that. And Dynamics 365 and Power Platform being the great platform it is, which provides those seamless customer experiences, was there to rescue many, many organizations. And a lot of adoption happened. And that is the reality of the business. We can go and check different reports, which are published publicly, and we can verify that in numbers as well. Now, how does cloud sourcing help me with the uh, flexibility and the agility? It enables my users to quickly adapt to the changing business needs and customer demands. Users can access their solution from anywhere, anytime, or any device, and the development and the implementation of the consulting can happen also remotely, adding a lot of added advantages. And the tool or the platform itself being in the cloud also really helps in terms of uh, increasing that uh, speed and then comes cost savings. It can reduce the upfront and the ongoing cost of your uh, implementation of moving different uh, people from one place to another, the cost that involves into actually having a physical office, travel cost, the time that it saves, the productivity that, that it increased, right? So this is, these are some benefits, I think, what cloud sourcing can do in case of Dynamics 360 and Power Platform user. Coming into well, how can it benefit today after the pandemic is now going away or gone that i would like to answer because there is a follow-up question which i will uh, attend to and which are one which is one of the upcoming question and i'll try to address that one as well how has the covid 19 impacted the demand and adoption of dynamics 365 power platform solutions across different industries now this was another question that kept on coming especially during the pandemic years now it comes about okay the pandemic is going away or gone and what is the impact that you see well, it has definitely accelerated the adoption of digital transformation. And most of us who have been out there in the industry for long enough can agree to that. It has really accelerated that cloud-based solutions across different industries, created new opportunities, and then given new challenges as well, and which has been solved with Dynamics 365 or Power Platform. Now, it has seen a huge surge in demand as well, this industry for Dynamics 365 and Power Platform to enable remote work, to enable businesses to work remotely, to collaborate, to automate, to get data insights or analysis, and to also do customer engagement around it, especially in certain sectors such as healthcare, education, retail, etc., to name a few. Now, the power platform industry has also faced some challenges such as how to adapt so quickly to the changing customer needs and expectations. And the follow-up, the previous question that I had, which I wanted to continue in the conversation, cloud sourcing has really helped. Even uh, my teams have worked remotely and they have given, given excellent results across different kinds of time zones and so so have the work, actual workforce using the platform has been also remote and they have greatly benefited from this particular arrangement. Now, managing scalability and performance, fostering innovation and differentiation, there are some key challenging areas as well when you do this nature of development. But I think at time of challenge comes the necessity and since come the necessity you have de derived a lot of internal processes and i can talk about that at length some of the tips and tricks for that in an upcoming session maybe but those processes on how to effectively work in that way to deliver great solutions now how it has responded how the industry has responded by using the strengths of its platform such as its low code no code capabilities its ai capabilities its integration with the other suite of microsoft application including microsoft 365 and azure services its AI and mixed reality services, extensibility and customization. These are some of the things which have really benefited. Now let's talk about the post pandemic impact, right? Obviously when the industry was accelerating, there was a lot of acceleration in terms of a lot of surge in demand and work and implementations and remote working provides its own set of challenges as well and its set of opportunities. Now it came up as opportunity for many, many organizations including mine as well. Now, post-pandemic, how uh, the industry is uh, headed, there has been a little slowness in terms of the implementations and the work that is occurring, but still cloud sourcing can still provide the traditional benefits, which I talked about, like cost savings, increasing the team, and at time of challenges, we want to reduce cost and still have good productivity, still have good quality, and still support and maintain our uh, adoption that has happened already. So I think it is very vital for the organization wherever I work with and wherever I have interactions, I recommend to continue that journey 
if it has it is not that speed up journey that it, it was during the pandemic at least it has to continue cloud sourcing can be looked at as one of the alternatives if you if the cost of doing it on site is very very high and that is one of the reason of not continuing the journey it can be a remote based journey it can be a, a slower journey it can be the maintenance of the thing can be given out as well and since the pandemic years were supported by the industry in that remote way this journey can very well continue i'm i'm very open to different other thoughts also but this is what i collected in my network and i'm giving my kind of version of the answer next let's take another one how does copilot affect the learning and skill development of novice or experienced programmer this is a question that has come to me from both novice programmers and experienced programmers and software engineers uh, in multiple ways now i would want to definitely address this question First of all, let's see what is Copilot. Copilot can potentially help novice programmers how? By providing them with examples, with hands, and feedback on their coding tasks. Right? So I, I see Copilot as a great way. I recently read an article on Power Automate on how it can easily, you know, suggest you and give you a set of guided steps. Now, normally you will require a trainer like me to take you through a training and a lot of sessions to go through that. But here, it's kind of a hint and self-training mechanism that you got. It can also help experienced programmers. How? By saving them time. Now, if I needed to do all those steps, it takes me time. So now that I'm experienced, it can help me by reducing the time, giving uh, reducing the errors that I might do, and enhancing my creativity and productivity. Rather than doing the basic steps, I can think of improving it, improving my power automate, let's say, as an example. Does it pose some challenges and risk also, and and development as well? Uh, if you if you take it as a risk, you take it as a risk. A few years back, industry was talking about citizen developers, and there was a lot of uh, fear and commotion about what will happen to all of us, all of us consultants out here. We are still here. What we are doing is we are just uh, using the local platform to provide greater value to customers, to enhance the processes, to provide more productivity, to scale more, and be more agile. So. I don't see that even copilot coming has negative impacts on the industry and the consultants around. It's just that we need to continuously upskill ourselves. I've been a huge supporter of always saying that you need to continuously upskill yourself and keep learning and keep going in the industry. Copilot might not always generate the most correct and optimal and secure code. So that is another reason for us to look at the bugs, the vulnerability, or some ethical issue that might arise. Yet it is uh, it is an ongoing journey. We are just witnessing the first iteration, which is really great, and it is really lighting up a lot of new scenarios. It will help us with a lot of productivity, but at the same time, we need to monitor all this. It should not be the reason to reduce the motivation of any programmer, maybe novice or experience, as I said. I always suggest to look at the positive side of the thing, upskill yourself, uh, focus on how you can look at more bugs, more vulnerability, more, be more creative, make, make the solution more agile and scalable. These are the areas that the programmer should focus on along with learning what is coming great. Our assistant tool is coming in, utilize it, and then you know keep scaling. All right, with that particular question, this particular series was completed. These were some one of the top questions that were repeatedly asked to me. So I thought I would take a this medium to create a new kind of series on expert talk and share it with all of you. Paul 65 as usual till we meet again. If you have any of the needs for development, customizations, consulting on Dynamics 365 and Power Platform, I have a very great team. We have been delivering solutions to clients of all regions in uh, since multiple years now. I'll be definitely ready to assist. Take care and we'll continue our learning journey in the upcoming videos and series as well.